Hey guys, it's Brian from Excess Metalworks, and welcome back to the shop. So hey, uh, obviously it's been a while, and you're probably going, hey, they're going to do a video series on a Lamborghini Aventador, like it hasn't ever been done before. But um, actually we will, but not just yet. So this car actually came to us over the weekend, uh, it was flatbed delivered, not running. Got it up on the lift, pulled the uh, basically the wind tray from under the car, and there was actually metal all, all over the wind tray. So the way this motor's designed, it's a dry sup system and there's a plate that actually bolts the connecting rods into that. Um, one of the rods actually broke cylinder number one and actually put a hole in that. So that much we know for sure. What we don't know is how bad is the rest of the motor. So we are gonna go ahead and have to pull this completely apart, disassemble it and inspect it. We will be doing a video series on that. It might be over at Anthony's place. We haven't quite worked out the details just yet. But uh, in the meantime, one thing we actually didn't do is also uh, record the dis disassembly of a 600 LT. So that's actually what's in that box back back there. Somehow I cannot point this way. Anyway, so in that box right there, we've got a fully built uh, 600 LT for McLaren. And it's rated, they say, about 2,000 horsepower. Uh, we'll see. We won't probably push it quite that hard, but probably get uh, hopefully about 1,100 to the wheel. So we will be doing the installation, taking it over the dyno, and kind of seeing what we can do with that car before we actually get it uh, back to the owner. Uh, real nice guy. So uh, he kind of generally wants us to make sure that things are functional beforehand. So he does not want us to say, okay, it's all installed and I'll go try it. He wants us to, to give it to him full, fully tested and not have to deal with anything. So anyway, so what we gotta do now is get this out of here, push it out and get it uh, back onto a flatbed so it can be taken over to storage. Uh, and then we'll get the McLaren delivered and get the McLaren disassembled so we can get the motor in, blah -de -da -de -da -de -da. So on with the show. <laughs> So as you can see, we got the uh, LT pushed in. Uh, it's, it's really light and easy to push in when it doesn't actually have a motor. So yep. Anthony actually took the motor out. Oh God, it's been a while ago. So yep. originally came in, uh, asked for some simple diagnostics and in doing so, Anthony, why don't you go ahead and tell him what's going on? Yeah, so basically it blew a meth line and um, then started having all sorts of misfire problems by uh, a previous shop that was trying to get it tuned. It was down on power on the dyno. So they brought it here. We did a compression and leak down test. Compression was low, leak down was gurgling and bad. So um, we ended up hey, talking, never good. talking to the customer and uh, the decision we made, also there was metal in the oil filter. Um, so the decision we made was to go with a well, renaissance. Back up a the customer also <laughs> is very uh, speed aggressive. I don't know what's right. What's he wants power. He wants power. Yeah. Big power. Yeah. So, so renaissance. This is where we went. Push this up here. So we got their ultimate engine. I'll stand back here. Their ultimate engine, which has titanium rods, Mali pistons, uh, their uh, power. Uh, pewter rods i don't remember how to pronounce that company but anyway like formula one quality stuff and um and they say it's ready for like two thousand more yeah they say it's ready for two thousand so uh, we'll see how much we go with it and uh we have two freshly rebuilt pure turbos and then but also those are also modified those are those are modified they're bigger um and billet wheels and then we also have in this crate that came from new zealand a Dodson clutch with so, yeah, upgraded these cooling. These are known once you actually put the power in with McLarens, they're known to start having clutch problems. They generally overheat and, and kind of burn up. Yeah, so this one has the new feature that they have, which is upgraded cooling um, for the basket. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it goes. So, all right. So, well, why we didn't have our actually recording of us taking it apart, we'll have a recording of putting it back together. So, you'll see another guy that actually is going to be helping in and out. We'll introduce him at the end. So Spencer, he's actually uh, really at the shop almost full time yeah, at this point. Yeah, he's just about full time. Uh, now. So we keep getting more cars. So like you know that Lamborghini just kind of showed up in the last second uh, over the weekend. So yep. uh, we do have another project that you cannot see just yet. Uh, we are recording, but um, it was a, it's a barn find, and it's uh, a really cool barn find. I don't even know. You, it's really, I guess, technically not a barn find because it wasn't uh, it wasn't mistreated that much, but it. 
it literally has not been started. I think that what we can safely say is we don't think it's actually been turned on since 2001. And the motor that's in there, we just found out the motor that's built in that car has never been started. Yeah. Not so, once. So yeah, so it's, it's going to be, uh, that one is, uh, we've also got some help on board. So uh, talk to the customer, even though it's a really nice, I'm not going to say the name, it's a, it's a late, it's an early 90s supercar. Uh, normally you would, and it is a V12, if you watch Instagram, you saw I posted a manifold. Um, so normally you would not see one of these being done with what we're going to do to it, which is actually add a fuel tech. So we're going to go ahead and modernize this car. Uh, I'm putting drive-by wire, smart coils in it. Um, so you can basically get in and make it a turnkey operation. So, well, not turnkey operation, but uh, get in it and actually drive it like a normal car. You just hit the button and it'll start up. So that's the kind of the goal for that project. So you'll see that coming up. Um, but first and foremost, we got to get this done and out of here uh, because we actually have other cars outside that still need to come back in here. So we got to get this done pretty quick. So. Anthony, we'll go ahead and, and uh, if you want to say anything else, you want to start working. Yeah, I think we got to start working because once this one's done, we got about three more. <laughs> so, and, uh, and all the other shit that we got. Yeah, Stop. not three more McLarens, three more other high end High end projects, yeah. carbon work, prototyping uh, work. Carbon work is still out there. Yeah. So. All right. We're on hold. Get to work. Mm -hmm.